Most of you have probably heard of our next guest. You've probably seen superstars Sandra Bullock and Tim McGraw play them on the silver screen. Well, now you're about to meet the real Leanne and Sean Tui, the couple behind that heartwarming story that inspired the hit movie, The Blind Side. Leanne and Sean have a new book that offers even more insight into their now legendary relationship with NFL star Michael Orr. The book is called In a Heartbeat, Sharing the Power of Cheerful Giving. And Leanne and Sean, join us now to tell us more about it. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, it's thank you for having you. us. We are so thrilled to have you here. Now, first of all, I mean, we all saw the hit movie. We were so inspired by your story. But the first question I have for you is how accurate was the movie in comparison to what actually happened in your lives? You know, the movie was scarily accurate. Don Lee Hancock was the writer and director. And, um, you know, he spent two years with our family. I, I mean, he spent an inordinate amount of time with us. He knew our pulse. He knew our our ways. He was familiar with us and uh, and he nailed it. I, I mean, he really did a great job. Uh, there were some inaccuracies. They had nothing to do with the story, the meaning, um, the platform that we're on right now. You know, Collins and uh, Michael were in the same class. She was not a, um, a year younger as portrayed in the movie. Collins was a state championship pole vaulter. The movie portrayed her playing volleyball. The inaccuracies were like that. The, they didn't have any kind of reflection or it wouldn't have changed the meaning or the message of the movie. So, yes, there were some, M Michael was never that, you know, bad of a football player. Right. But that, that didn't change the message that we want to get out there that all people people have value and that we need to value everyone and that we need to uh, step up and make a difference. You know, uh, the power of one is mighty and there are Michael Orr's in every city in the United States of America that need help. One of the things that I loved, I heard a quote from you all that said, the person you just walked past yeah. is the one who could change your life. So every once in a while, stop and turn around. What, what inspired you to be the kind of people who would stop and turn around and go pick up Michael Orr when he was walking down the street? Well, I, I don't know if it inspired us, but I think we recognized how little, you know, you could do and make a difference. You know, what we scared a little bit when the movie came out was that people would see us up on screen and then they'd go, well, gosh, I can't do anything of that size. And, and, and that's not the case. I mean, we didn't set out to do that, believe me. All we really did was exactly as you said. We drove past Michael on the street and my wife turned to me and said, turn around. And when you turn around, you really find out the true value of somebody. You know, Michael was incredibly intelligent. He was gifted and, and obviously athletically talented before we ever met him. And he would have fallen through the cracks. And that's a shame to think that how many people do fall through when somebody so gifted had the same, you know, plight. I mean, he was, he was headed down a bad path. We didn't make him who he was. We allowed him to become who he was supposed to. And that scared us. And so this is what we tell in our book. Look, you know, in the movie line, turn around and meet the person behind you. You know, my wife walks by the bus stop every day and she talks to those people. You never know who will change your life in a heartbeat. And that's where the title of the movie came, the title of the book came from. Do you think that uh, Michael did more oh, to change your lives than yeah. you actually changing his life? It's not even close. I mean, you know, granted, we gave him a house and, and an opportunity, but he gave us, you know, uh, the ability to be a cheerful giver every day. You know, his needs were vast. I mean, that was easy to see. And, you know, he allowed us to really have basically Christmas every day. What's your relationship like with Michael now, now that he's a, an NFL star? wears me out because now I've got to go to <laughs> NFL games every Sunday. It's a mandatory. You don't miss games. So, you know, we just were recuperating from the last season and, you know, here we go again, you know, for another season. So we try to do the Ole Miss games on Saturday and the Ravens games on Sundays and by Mondays, <laughs> mom is pooped. But um, it's fun. It's a great lot. It, you know, we're, we're very lucky and fortunate and the three kids are doing great. They're all healthy and happy and SJ just tugs along just like he did in the movie and he's just a pliable little kid. It's just, you know, give him a now, so <laughs> He's a baby. You know, it, it's, it's hard to look back at the movie and realize he was once that, that, that yeah. young. He was so young. Well, you're about to be empty nesters. What's going to be next for you after all the kids have left the house? Oh, I'm sure they will have an agenda for us. And you know what? We we like the platform 
that we are having right now. We like to be able to go out and talk to people in this country about the Michael Ors, and um, we firmly believe that every city has them, and, and we believe in our family that the kid that knows for the cure for cancer is walking on inner city uh, Detroit, LA, Memphis, Atlanta, you name the city. And um, so we're going to talk about it as long as people will listen and, and, and try to make a difference in the kids that are aging out of child care every single day because age is not a factor. They want a home. The, these, these young adults want a forever home. And um, so, you know, it'll just give us more of an opportunity to keep talking about that. I heard that Sandra Bullock, when you guys first met, was scared of you in the beginning. Is that I'm true? Scared, I'm scared of sitting next to her, so I can relate to that. I think that's an urban legend that's got out. No, I, I sure didn't know that she was. She didn't let it on to me, and, and after spending a lot of time with her, she's that's not tough, her yeah. nature. She's, she's as tough as I am, if not tougher, so I don't know how that got out there. But anyway, I'm blessed and fortunate that Sandy was the one that played me, and she is a wonderful individual giving of herself, so lucky me. Well, I am thrilled that you were here on the show. And Leanne, you inspire another Southern woman like, like me because Perfect. I like to see a, a tough Southern lady. You're making it easier for us to get through the world. Good deal. <laughs> I like that. It's all about the strong Southern women. It's absolutely right. Southern smart women. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you being here. Thanks, Beth. Appreciate it. Now, the book in a heartbeat is available online and it's in bookstores everywhere. So stay with us. More of the Balancing Act is on the way.